The world lost one of the great ones yesterday at the age of 80 years old. The legendary Dick Butkus passed away. Illinois, true and through, born in Chicago, school here in Champaign, nine years with the Chicago Bears, revolutionized the linebacker position. Fans, players, coaches all paying homage to the great number 50. Helmet decals, sweatshirts from all the coaching staff, and of course the 50 outlined in orange on the field at Memorial Stadium in Champaign. Hi again, everybody. Welcome to Champagne with Mark Alfred, Jeff Levering with you. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. And listen, it was fitting that the Bears played yesterday on the day that Dick Buck has passed away, got their first win of the season. Fitting that Illinois plays tonight with an opportunity to get a win against Nebraska. The world lost a legend in the sport, but an even better human being as well. He, he was unbelievable. I mean, and make no mistake, this is a celebration of life, of a, a real life superhero. This guy on the field was a savage off the field was a gentle giant and everything he did man his foundation work it was about passion and love and two of the best days of my football life were hanging with him at the 100th anniversary of the bears and just story after story about his city about his team about mrs mccaskey his family and every second inspiration we will be remembering the life of dick up dick buckus the entire night of course we've got a football game to play as well some of just the many highlights in the life of dick buckus the two-time all-american two-time hall of famer college pro and of course the best linebacker in the country named after dick buckus here we go fourth and goal from the inch line Altmeyer gives to Love. No signal yet. Well, the official on our side of the field marked him short, and they say he is short. Both officials came in on the sides and, and marked him down. You know, Love the third thought he was in the entire offensive line, thought he was in. Harbord back to pass. Harbord floats it up, going to the sideline, and it's caught. Great catch by the senior Marcus Washington. You want some space? Good for 39. One on one with Strain. Washington versus Strain. A ton of man coverage in this defense, and just a dime. That's a great throw and catch from your own end zone. That's going to feel like a huge, huge weight off of Harbord's shoulders into the wind. So with the wind, a little easier. That's a, hard to, that's a hard to gauge type of wind. Big, big foot side. 30 yard barrier. This one is up and it is good for Alvano and Nebraska. Strikes first. Harvard pulls it out. One man to beat. He's got the edge and a stiff arm. That's a big, big play for Heinrich Harburg as he pushed Miles Scott down. Plus 13 on 13. Now we got 10 on 10 in space. Heinrich Harburg, 6'5, 215. Miles Scott does a great job just tempoing him to the sideline, breaking that stiff arm. Good finish. And he'll hear about that one in the film. To pass again. Pressure up the middle. Harburg swings and it's caught. Just past the sticks and a massive fourth down picked up. Alex Bullock on another chain moving catch. Harper just gets a little pressure up the middle. Great job resetting his eyes downfield. A little drop down sidearm slider converts. Creativity with the arming. Gonna let him go. Out of the shotgun, Harvard. Hands, Grant leaping for it. Officials coming in. They are marking him short again. Oh, they grab the ball carrier. That is advantage, Illinois, right there. Oh, and just the at the lane. last moment, yeah. touchdown, Nebraska. It looked like the side judge had his foot short. Yeah, had it marked short. There's no doubt Illinois won that initial battle, but just a fight for Anthony Grant, the big physical back. Florida State v. New Mexico, Mili New Mexico Military. Let's take a look from the vantage point. The game clock 
to 647. 647 Can't on the game clock. There, but you see that initial push resetting the line of scrimmage by the Illinois D line, but just a great finish. You see Corcoran in the end zone, and most importantly, Anthony Grant with the tip of the ball in the end zone. And it has been confirmed. Let's see what that does to this kickoff as well. There it is. I think parachutes. Who's going to come and pick it up? It takes a Nebraska bounce. Did the Cornhuskers pick it up? Ball is in there somewhere. Who's got it? Nebraska's saying they have it. And they do. Wow. Harburg in business. Harburg keeps a seam. Harburg lowers his head into the end zone. A touchdown for the Cornhuskers. Third rushing touchdown of the year. 10 and 12, respectively. Bushini to kick. Another pop-up. Calling for a fair catch. It's on the ground and signal fair catch. Yeah, it was dead ball. Tip Ryman, who was in there signaling fair catch. The receiving team signaled for a fair catch. As 89, the ball Ryman signals for the fair catch. First down returners, the back returners have to communicate and get him out of the way. They clearly talked about that. You see Wiltshire, Beatty, got to take control, get that up back out of the way. You can still return that if you communicate. But Williams and Moshe, he's been real quiet recently. Altmaier steps up, and he's wrapped up and brought down. John Bullock, the linebacker, comes up with a sack. His brother Alex has had a out right. Javin Wright was in coverage right there. Her big eyes could have been a pick. Floating on down the sideline. Catch is made. Touchdown, Illinois. Pat Bryant for six. A beautiful ball from Luke Altmaier. Altmaier to pass, all kinds of time, flushed out. What a catch, great hands by Bryant. He scored the touchdown, chains move, 18-yard gain. Great job staying in bounds, really good job by Altmaier. Just turns into a three-man rush, has plenty of time. He was just going to throw this away. Picked up nicely, Harper to the outside. Hammered. Nicholson jarred it free. Borkacher tried to make the catch, and Nicholson had the big hit. Nicholson brought the wood after Illinois dials up the pressure. Watch the inside. We'll look at this first. Great hit on the ball. Wrap that up, Nicholson, on the big boy. Right there, didn't have to bail out that direction. Hunter Carter had better protection than he realized after the... Another low snap. Altmaier steps up in the pocket. Throws middle. He's got his man. And a first down as the ball comes out. Tommy Hill has it going the other way. Gets to his own sideline. And another big turnover for Nebraska's defense. Griffin Moore got hit hard and popped it up. Does a great job recognizing it's a three-man rush. Evades it as we look at it from this direction to our left. Good job putting it on more and then just a shot. That was Phelan Sanford. He has made the most of this opportunity for Singleton. Putting his face on that ball. Picturesque hit and a dream hop to an offensive-minded player in Tommy Hill. Right into his hands. A 30-year-old punter. Uh-oh. Got to get rid of it. It's blocked by Nebraska. 
out of bounds. And they will spot it at the 22-yard line. Another miscue by Illinois. Yeah, yeah, this... Don't know exactly what's going on here for Hugh Robertson. Has to see this edge rusher coming. Sideline Get it out. Press. It's their first of the game. There is no yardage. Steps first up down inside of Gunnarsson. Gunnarsson loops out after the edge is set. 97. Great job getting in front of it, but that that's just assignment error by Hugh Robertson. Not very often do you see a block kick with someone's shin. <laughs> yeah. But that's where Gunnarsson got it. Give up the middle. Fagan is stopped short. Nash Hotmaker was the first man to get his body on him, and Fagan could not pick it up. You said it, man. Nash Hotmaker inside out. A little frustration on that side. Harbour gives it. Johnson ball is out. Illinois says they have it. Boy, what another opportunity missed if Illinois comes away with this ball for Nebraska. Talked about the exchanges between two guys, and it's just that just looked like Johnson just dropped it. That was a 14. Drop eight. Harburg. Deep sideline, it's intercepted. Xavier Scott comes away with a turnover. Back-to-back -back possessions and turnovers. Allmeyer running out of time. Going sideline, it's intercepted. Another pick thrown by Altmeyer. Quentin Newsom on the stop. And he's down inside the 15-yard line. Newsom's first interception of the season. Second goal from the 15. Grant trying to find some space. Ball is out. Looks like Illinois has got it. James Krutz 